I'm taking you over to Old Mutual, where everything is green and where we do great things every day. My brother, you know, okay, Champong is operations manager of Old Mutual Life Assurance Company Limited. What's up, bro? How you doing, Enoch? Hi, hi, Alexis. You good? good? Yeah, very good. Looking colorful, and I love your jacket as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really good to see you. Thanks so much for coming by. I'm excited about this conversation because this week has the conversations around insurance have been all about life and uh, life has dominated it and the reason is simple it's one of the most commonly accessible and affordable insurance policies i've gotten to know actually yesterday i, I had the commissioner of insurance in here so we yeah. talked a little bit more about insurance now this afternoon we want to know some more we want to know who can be insured under life insurance and i know old mutual has one of the best life po policies uh here in ghana so tell us who qualifies to take a life insurance policy Thank you, Lexis. So, um, greetings from management and staff of Old Mutual. We are very excited to be here today uh, to share this experience with you. Um, let me take this opportunity to also thank the GIA for this wonderful initiative. Yeah. Because usually it's said that insurance is sold and not bought mm. because there's an asymmetry of information between what we know as insurers and mm -hmm. what the general public know. That's true. So, we are excited to, to have this uh, discussion. So, basically, Technically, we can say that insurance is for everyone. Mm. So what we say is that the, the best time to buy insurance is when you are born. Because usually insurance, it's uh, based on the age. So the, the older you are, the more you pay, right? But there are legal uh, um, um, restrictions, okay. which, which uh, implies that if you are below 18 years, you will not be able to buy a life insurance policy. So, so those are the restrictions. But basically, oh, okay. it's open for everyone but what somebody can buy for you yes yeah, so, still still no yes yeah, so so if you're below the the age of 18 years you have a parent you have a legal guide a guardian they can buy the insurance for you so you'll be on the policy mm. uh, yeah as an insured so that uh, that is one way to cover those who are below uh, okay so it's only age. after 18 that i can buy an insurance policy myself yes yes exactly ah oh okay yeah so uh students uh, it's it, the, the 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 only thing is the age right yes so whether you are a student or not you can buy a life life insurance policy yes yes if you're a student you can buy a life insurance policy the the uh, problem with uh, that usually is when you buy a life insurance policy you are mandated to pay premiums mm. now where your source of income is not that regular it could lead to a, a number of things because insurance expects premiums to come in every month or every year mm -hmm. as you've signed up to. So usually if the premiums don't come in, there are things that happen to the policy. Like the policy can go off, that is, it goes lapsed. So we have to make sure that we uh, the source of income is very mm. regular to keep the policy active. But so, how do you ensure that, especially when a student thinks that, look, I need a life insurance policy, and maybe they don't have very uh, consistent streams of income, maybe they're just using their remittances from parents and whatnot little you know po money yeah. from you know side <laughs> yeah. chick sentence <laughs> 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 uh, so how, how, how do you ensure that the student is covered in any way yeah so uh like this we are, we are trying a number of things within the insurance industry because mm. we call these people they're starting out so they they have very low income uh they might not have at all and they depend on people so for them you have to design a product which is very affordable for them to pay on a monthly basis for instance so those are some of the things that insurance companies do to make the uh products affordable to people within that, within, that yeah. okay okay now um I was, I was having a conversation with imani iman iman yesterday she was telling me that you know sometimes you can buy as many life insurance policies yeah. as possible yeah uh, why is that necessary anyway i mean isn't one life insurance policy enough so um like this everyone has uh, some level of responsibility so um not all insurance policies are for all people so that that is one thing that should be made clear so if you have a family uh, you're married you have let's say five children your insurance needs are different from someone who is married not yet with a child mm. and so there are different insurance policies that cater for all of this now the value you put on a life uh, you can't really put a value on someone's life so in the first scenario where he has five kids obviously if the man should die um there is a lot of responsibility so there's an income flow that goes off mm -hmm. now all these children should be catered for through school for instance 
so how much life insurance is enough to cover that so each individual has their own uh, specific circumstances okay. which will mean that people would need different levels of life insurance uh-huh. based on that so you can't restrict them but then you can uh, offer them the cover that they need usually uh, within insurance companies there are restrictions on maybe how how much life cover they can give you okay so company a might restrict you to this amount company b might have more than that it depends really on the uh, risk profiling of the, of the company so you can buy as much as you can from mm. any insurer so far as they are willing to to um, give you that cover okay well that's that's really good but wait can a pregnant woman you know buy a life insurance policy for herself uh, at the time she's probably heavily loaded yeah and conspicuously known to mostly the insurance agent yes uh um like this right and it, what would that cover be for two people <laughs> or three depending on the number in there <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, so, so it's possible and as an insurer um i see a, a number of reasons why i should cover a pregnant uh, um, person because um pregnancy in itself is not, it's not an illness although there could be some illness that will come as a result of that but every risk is priceable so within insurance you can't really reject anyone you can mm. put a price on anything so for a pregnant woman i see a, a number of risks and a number of needs that needs to be covered by insurance and so um there could be still bed there could be maternal mortality mm-hmm. i can cover both of this oh but, you can yes okay but then again there could be um, the possibility which is higher that she'll go through this successfully now once she's done that she will need an educator policy for the child and so i cannot abandon her on the mortality side and then expect to cover her when the child is you know is being successful and and needs uh, an educator policy for instance so throughout the the journey insurance should be there sh- to cover uh, um, the lady so yes we we will not restrict that we are going to price for any risk that that comes okay yeah. well that sums it up it means that everybody can be covered with insurance yes yes everybody. but uh, i also like to reiterate that um the terms and conditions of the insurance policy are also very key mm. so as i said each insurance company has the uh, level of, ri- of risk that they are willing to yeah. to take so you have to know the terms and conditions so what i say is that if you don't see it don't sign it so mm. Make sure you've seen the terms and conditions and you agree to whatever is in there. Great. Amazing stuff. Well, that's some clarity there on who can access insurance or who can be insured. Thank you so much, my brother. Um, Tell us a little bit about Old Mutual Life Assurance Company Limited. Uh, Thank you, Lexus. So Old Mutual, um, as a group in Ghana, we do both life insurance and pensions. We've been in Ghana since 2013 when we took over Provident Life. Okay. So all all um uh, customers who were with Pro- uh, provident life are now with old mutual so old mutual as a group as a bigger group um we have uh, about we are in about 14 countries uh, across africa and asia okay uh, yes so so and we've been around for a long time so that's been 174 once, years yes, right here exactly wow so that's a lot of knowledge and experience that we've built over the years yeah. and what we are telling um, um the public is that the time is now to insure yourself mm-hmm. and so old mutual has a number of policies which caters for different needs so you can purchase our uh, funeral policy we have um, a term assurance policy which covers you for for uh, huge sum assurance up to about one million ghana cities you can get that level of cover wow. yes we have educator policies for for individuals if you have children you can purchase those policies so there are a number of policies that we have available okay well so good stuff it, yeah so i'll just put our numbers yeah. out so you can reach mm. old mutual on 0501-533-745 or 0302-747221 
Good stuff. Old Mutual, do great things yeah. every day. And yeah. just not long ago, I think a couple of weeks back, uh, you guys kicked it off the Amazing Voices competition. Yes, exactly. Is that it? So, Enoch, I'm going to put you on the spot, actually. <laughs> now, good thing is you've got Emmanuel and your whole team in here with you. To support. Hey, Emmanuel, come back here. Come back. <laughs> Amazing Voices. Enoch, you've got to sing. You've got to I sing before sing. you leave. Yeah. I didn't I know, know this was going to happen. Well, I, it I, has I... happened. <laughs> <laughs> Old Mutual is supposed to have Amazing Voices voices isn't it oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i know the competition is on you've already selected the groups from ghana haven't you yes we have and the winner is going to win like some big yes big, big, amounts, big package that, in yeah. south africa yes. wow yes okay so i'll join you don't worry me i'm i, I seem no, trouble I here, so I'm, I'm okay oh now. good 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 okay <laughs> let's go let's go Ima, Ima, let's go let's go. what song are we singing that's that's the question you bring it up bring i it. should bring song yeah. how <laughs> I, I should bring some. No, no, no. You, 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 but you I come. I just leave it for you. Then. You leave it for who? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'll put you on the spot. You, you have to sing a song. Oh, Amazing voices. <laughs> Old me. Ah, Gabriel, to you. Oh, Gabriel, come, 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 come. Gabriel has the voice. Gabriel, Gabriel Adote, the champion singer. The old, the, the choir master. If you give Emmanuel Shatawale, he can sing for you. <laughs> <laughs> pa, 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 pa. <laughs> As always, really good to get to you to the team at Old Mutual. Please, my regards to Rita and everybody at Old Mutual. Thank you so much for coming by you, and sharing the goodness of Old Mutual and a little bit about insurance with us. I'm thank grateful. You. Yeah? All right. Stay tuned into Joy 99.7 FM. I've got more for you here on your super station. The drive time with insurance.